There seems to be a trend online lately with lots of people saying battery operated toys are bad for development and you should never give them to your baby. Now, whenever I see things like this, I always feel the urge to dig a little deeper and find out where this is coming from and if there is any evidence behind it. So let's start with where this first came from because its origins are a little surprising. After reading the first few articles on battery operated toys, I noticed a pattern between all three. And that was they all pointed back to a single study. In fact, every article I read pointed to this study or another article which also referred back to this study. The study they were all referring to was completed by Sosa and her colleagues in 2015. So the results must have been pretty conclusive, right? Well, not quite. In this study, the researchers listened to an audio recording of 26 parent baby pairs while the babies who were between 10 to 16 months of age played with three types of toys. The first one was battery operated toys, which consisted of a baby laptop, a talking farm and a baby cell phone. Then they were given traditional toys, which consisted of wooden puzzles, shape sorters and blocks. And lastly, they were also provided with board books, which were about animals, shapes or colors. The researchers were simply listening to 15 minute audio clips only and auditing them to measure how much verbal communication was occurring in each. And that meant they didn't track any non-verbal communication or other interactions. The study showed that when playing with battery operated toys, the parents themselves didn't talk much to their babies and the babies didn't vocalize as much as they did when they played with regular toys or books. In fact, the findings indicated that when playing with battery operated toys, the parents said fewer unique words and had less back and forth conversations with their little ones. And since the most effective way to help a baby learn to speak is by interacting directly with people, some have concluded that playing with battery operated toys might slow this learning process and are therefore detrimental to a baby's development. But it's a very big leap to go from that to battery operated toys being bad for development as a whole. Battery operated toys, like any toy, can have both positive and negative effects on a baby's development depending on how they're used. If you hand your baby a battery operated toy and don't chat or engage with them as they play, then they won't be hearing language during that playtime, which means that they aren't getting that language boost at that exact moment. However, that doesn't mean there aren't any developmental benefits at that point in time. Battery operated toys can offer some wonderful benefits to your baby's growth and development. From a visual standpoint, the blinking lights on these toys are really good at grabbing your baby's attention and promoting the development of their visual skills. For instance, as they focus on a toy, they practice holding their gaze steady. And if that toy moves, they'll instinctively follow it with their eyes. And this practice of tracking movement is crucial as it lays the groundwork for hand-eye coordination. These toys are also great for enhancing your baby's fine and gross motor skills. For instance, when your baby is a newborn, a captivating toy with lights and music during tummy time can motivate them to raise their head or serve as a brief distraction, helping to strengthen those important muscles which will be required to roll, sit up, crawl, and eventually walk. At around two to three months of age, a battery operated toy which moves can become an incentive for your little one to reach out and bat it. And this lays the groundwork for more purposeful grabbing later on. This is just one of the many exciting milestones you can expect your baby to achieve in their first year of life. If you'd like to learn about each of the developmental milestones your little one should achieve during this time, I have a free PDF which you can download by using the link in the description below this video. As your baby learns to sit, battery operated toys can help enhance their sitting balance. For example, if you simply position the interactive activity panel from a baby pushwalker slightly out of reach, your baby will be encouraged to lean forward to push those buttons for music or lights, and then they'll lean back to watch the flashing lights or listen to the music or sounds. And this back and forth movement aids in strengthening their sitting posture and stability. Then as your baby reaches around nine months of age, electronic toys can be especially helpful in refining their finger movements as features like small buttons, keys and flaps actually encourage them to practice specific actions like pointing or pinching using just their thumb and pointer finger. But it's not just about the physical benefits. Battery operated toys can also teach your baby about cause and effect. For instance, a toy which plays a melody when a button is pushed will help your baby understand that their actions lead to outcomes. And over time with repeated play, they'll even begin to remember and anticipate these outcomes, boosting their memory. 
While playing with battery operated toys by themselves isn't actively working on language development, you can add that component in by sitting down with your baby and talking to them as they play. For example, as your baby turns that door on the activity panel, you could say, wow, that door is loud. Or you could simply copy the noise and say, creak. When you do this, it's likely that your baby will look up and smile or giggle and continue to interact by turning that door again and again, just to hear you say creak one more time. This back and forth interaction is facilitating their language development. So battery operated toys aren't inherently bad for development. They can be a great addition to your baby's playtime, helping with multiple aspects of their development. However, variety is key. By all means, let your baby play with these toys, but also mix in traditional ones like blocks, soft toys, sensory books, puzzles, and ring stackers. Even safe household items like Tupperware bowls and spoons can be really engaging for your baby, as giving them a variety of items to play with will help facilitate well-rounded skill development. Now, besides offering a variety of toys to your little one, it's also crucial not to inundate them with too many options. Surprisingly, having fewer toys can be more beneficial for your child. Fewer toys can lead to longer play times, enhanced creativity, and better social skill development. Watch this video next to find out the ideal amount of toys you should be giving your baby at each play session and the best way to use them to ensure that your child doesn't get bored.